Okay, moving forward here. Main content, div tag, Google ad, div tag, footer, div tag. I don't have a rule for these div tags. Again, don't confuse the rules with the tag. These are the tags, these are the rules. So far, wrapper, branding, sidebar, sidebar, site nav, sidebar, news bar have rules, but they don't, the tags as it exists, I make the rules for the tag. So let's get main content built. So select the tag. Now important step here, by default, see main content takes up this entire section here. That's not what I want to do. I want main content to fill the section in here, minus the Google ads. So how are we going to do this? Very simple way. We're gonna select the tag, main content. We're going to select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule, main content. I don't want to say wrapper main content, simply main content. Main content is going to have, let's think about this, the height is going to be 650, which is the height of the wrapper tag, minus the branding tag, minus, minus the footer tag, which is 25 pixels. That's our starting positioning. So if the apply option, main content, now it takes up this entire space. The width of this is going to be the width of the wrapper tag, which is 900 pixels, minus the sidebar, which is 150, minus Google Ads. So in this particular case, Google Ads is going to be 200 pixels wide, minus 200. Now, in this particular case, main content, main content is going to flow to the left. So this section in here is going to be main content. Make a change, save a change. Good app to get into. Okay, Google Ads. Let's do Google Ads. Oh, I forgot main content. Let's double click main content again. I either double click or hit the edit pencil down here. So we didn't give this any kind of padding here. So we're going to give this 30 pixels of padding. So if I give it 30 pixels of padding, I need to minus, minus in the width, minus 60, which is 30 times 2. Width is left and right. Height is top and bottom. So we're going to minus 60. Therefore, it fits in there. Now, if you don't minus those numbers, it's going to kick the main content. It's going to stay there, but it's going to kick Google Ads out. Make a change. Save a change. Google Ads. Select the tag. Select the tag. Make a rule. Select the tag. Make a rule. So Google Ads, Google Ads is going to be 200 pixels wide because that's what we told it to be. 200 pixels wide. And we're going to put in 10 pixels of padding. Now, excuse me, we're not going to set the height to this. We're going to let Google Ads regulate its own height. So if I hit the apply option right now, Google Ads goes down here to the bottom because Google Ads in this particular case, now if you're putting a div next to a div next to a div, you can flip all to the left. But in this particular case, we're going to flip Google Ads to the right just because we can. So it's 200 with minus the padding, which is 10 and 10 to the left, which is 20, so minus 20. The reason Google Ads is not fitting here is because there's no room for it, so it needs to minus the width padding, 20 pixels, minus 20. Again, you can do the math right here. So Google Ads is right there. Perfect. Make a change, save a change. Then footer. Now, footer is going to be slightly different. Footer, we're going to select the tag, select the tag, make a rule. Select the tag, make a rule for footer. Now footer is going to be nine pixels. It's going to be smaller than the rest of the content. Footer is going to be white type and the box height, we made box height. I don't want to go to box height here. I want to make the height of the box be the, be the line height, which is 25 pixels. Here's the objective here. I want to put the content vertically in the center, the footer content vertically in the center. You could do this by making the line height in replace of the box height. If you make the box height 25 pixels high, then it's going to jam the type in the top of the box. That's not what I want to do. So in addition to vertical alignment, I want to go to block and I want to vertically align this to the center. Now, change the background color to black. And if I hit the apply option, wacky things are happening here because footer does understand that this float is here. Footer doesn't have a float, nor does footer need a float. But footer needs to be at the bottom, which it is. But footer, based on these choices, I need to go to box category 
based on these choices. Footer needs to clear both the left float, which is sidebar main content, and the right float, which is Google Ads. So I need to clear both. When you clear both for footer, the apply option, footer appears at the bottom. Okay. Now, in this particular case, I don't want to make my wrapper, I want my wrapper height to be flexible. Right now, double click, my wrapper has a height of 650. We want the wrapper's height to be flexible, so we're going to put in nothing there. We're going to change the height to nothing. Not zero, nothing. Therefore, wrapper is going to wrap around the content. Now, visually, nothing's going to happen here because the content div here, this is the height of my div. This is the height of the sidebar div. So basically, that's causing this to be at the bottom. Okay, so again, for footer here, so it says an example that you want footer to be, say, 40 pixels high. Double click footer, change it to line height, not the box height, the line height to 40 pixels. Therefore, it's going to vertically keep the footer in the center. Make a change, save a change.